Okay, so I've shown Iridium Live before on DragonOS Focal, which uh, was in DragonOS Focal, the GR Iridium and the Iridium Toolkit is a, is an older build, uh, so the directions to run it are different than what I'm about to show. This is Iridium Live on the DragonOS Pi 64. Uh, I used a fork of Iridium Live uh, that um, that works with the newer toolkit, well, really the newer GR Iridium. And so I, I tried it out literally just a few minutes ago. So I'm going to go ahead and show it again uh, and just record it for anyone else that wants to, to use this. Uh, I guess another thing, too, is because this is a new build of Dragon OS uh, Pi 64. I haven't got it uh, up online yet. Another significant thing is SDR Angel with its 3D map. I'm just going to go ahead and start that. Um, maybe one of these days I'll cover that. All right, so we'll let that go in the background. Anyways, to get set up for Iridium Live, uh, really all I had to do was, let's see, in the user source Iridium Live folder, there is a udp.py um, file here. So if we use uh, sudo and edit that, all I had to do was, um, <clears throat> actually, let me take that back. So I uh, copy the UDP, just to make this simple, over to the user source, GR Iridium. Okay, so in the user source, GR-Iridium folder, UDP, all I did was go and change the IP address to the IP address of the machine that I'm on that also has GR Iridium and everything else. So, all right, so that uh, was really, let me think, that's really the only thing I had to move around in my Iridium, uh, GR Iridium folder. I, let's see. And since this is all in the user source, we need to use sudo, but uh, sudo, uh, let's see, nano examples, and I'm just using the RTL SDR. I came down here, I uncommented the one with the bias T. I have a, an appropriate antenna. And <clears throat> so if we look on the page here, pretty much tells you everything I'm telling you. Uh, we copied the UDP into the GR Iridium change the IP address. Uh, I'm not really messing with the center frequency. It seems to work fine the way it is. This command here, we'll, we'll use this as kind of a guide. We'll go into our uh, GR Iridium folder, which we are. Uh, since DragonOS Pi 64 and DragonOS Pi Focal both have uh, Python 2 and 3 with Python 2 actually being the uh, uh, default for, for some reasons. Uh, I guess I could flip-flop it. We need to specify Python 3 here. Uh, everything else, let's see, we need to change our user source is where our Iridium toolkit is located. We'll change this to rtl-sdr.conf we don't need we're not doing it offline so let's get rid of this and I think that's it and once we start this up we're looking for this output that you see in the back here so you'll see every so often or so the <coughs> UDP see we go right there all right, so that's looking good. Let's minimize this. So, all right, we need to. We'll go into our user source, Iridium Live, Iridium Live, and I couldn't quite figure out how to get the standalone built properly, so uh, I actually put .NET 
on the uh, Pi here. Let me think. Launch, run. So we're in the folder where the project is at. I don't know if we need sudo, but uh, I'll go ahead. We wait for Radium Live to start. Oh, there we go. SDR Angel, we'll check that out in a second. <clears throat> Once this starts, you'll pull up. Uh, okay, so there we go. Let's see, it should be on. Just giving it a second. Okay, there we go. So we'll go 777. We see Iridium Live. We should start to see information about satellites. And let's see. We'll start to see <clears throat> let's see. Physical satellite position and then ground activity. So See, we got both. And you just let that build up. And you can do playback. And yeah, that's, I mean, there you go. That's how to get up and running with uh, Iridium Live on the new Raspberry Pi build. I'll, I'll get it um, uploaded here soon. The other thing is, let's see. I'll just briefly show this uh, because I don't really <clears throat> have anything set up for location wise but if you open up uh, SDR Angel and you come down to features map give it a second and you'll need uh, internet so now you got a 2D and a 3D map. <clears throat> so anything that has uh, location information uh, in SDR Angel, like ADSB, um, let's see what else they got. ADSB, I know they got things to track uh, ships, probably the VOR information. Um, I would imagine there's probably packet information. And I'm sure there's a couple other things I'm not thinking of. But anyways, it'll all map out uh, or be shown on the uh, map over here. So I figured I'd show that real quick uh, while I'm thinking about it. But there you go. That's how to get set up with um, Iridium Live. And uh, keep an eye out. The Dragon West Pi 64 uh, will be out uh, there soon. Thanks.